rough to see the wizard, the great and powerful Oz. In to watch Oz the Great and Powerful. Don't want to bring the camera in there, but I'm excited. I think it looks good. I'll see you later. Funny fact about this theater, Theater 13 at Cinemark. I sat in every single seat here. Every single seat. Goodbye. We just got out of Oz the Great and Powerful. It was good. It was good. James Franco is a little much with his acting. He's... But I guess it worked because Oz, he was a con artist and a big showboat, so it made sense. But uh, Michelle Williams as Galinda was really good, and Rachel Weisz is always good. So yeah, it was good. It, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. James Franco was like the only thing. Like if they would have gotten a better Oz, it would have been a lot better. And I, and I wish I would have saw it in 3D, because there were so many cool things in it that would have been really good in 3D. The beginning was really cool, too, because it started in black and white, and and transitioned into the uh, color. It was really cool. There was some good stuff in it, good quality, good side characters. The flying monkey butler and the porcelain doll were good. And uh, yeah, it was good. I, I would say see it. I would say see it in 3D if you can afford it, because I know it's expensive, that's why we didn't. But I bet you it'd be really good in 3D. So, bye-bye. So we got home from the film. That's all, that's the only place we went. But, outside the movie theater, they're just opened up a comic book shop. So I got this little dandy here. Well, my sister got it for me, because she's swell. It is. It's, like, it's the first of a new series. It's like set right after that one. And it's in between that one. It's in between both of them. Uh, so yeah, and I think it just follows Lucan and Leia. You can't go wrong with Lucan and Leia. She also got me this. She got me a little pen there, you see that? You see it? Can you see it? It's cool. I've been noticing on my channel that I don't see subscribers. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it gets fixed, but I don't know. It could just be a glitch. I don't know. I'm not getting very many views either, though, in my videos. I don't know why. I seem to be getting subscribers, just not many views. I don't know what to do to fix that. Like, I really don't know, because I'm not... I don't have a lot of friends to send it to, to get them to send to people and watch it. If they're not that good, then they're not going to send them to people anyways. It's fine. I can't worry about it. I just got to do what I got to do and then not care and just just function and just do it because it's fun. It is fun. I'm having fun. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I kind of want to talk about the movie more, but I don't know what else, much to talk about. There really isn't. Because James, uh, James Franco could have been better. I mean, I think that was like, the biggest problem with the movie. Because it was good, there was good parts and there was good qualities, and the story itself was good. And the uh, scenery was, was beautiful, but yeah, they needed more, they needed something more. Michelle Williams was great though, as Glinda. She was amazing, she really was. She, she was just like the original, she was very sweet and just innocent and good. <sighs> now I have a crush on Glinda, it's terrible. She was gorgeous in that movie. Be sad. Anyways, uh, why did I tell you that? I don't know. Um, again, nothing's happening today. I'm on spring break. Well, kind of on spring break because an online class is requesting work from me. So I got to do that. It's not as big a deal, but it's it still has to be done. So I got to think. I got to start buckling down on my story, too. I got to figure it out and what I'm going to do. I hear a dog lurking. So long for now. Hey everybody. So, what you were just watching was day 10. Today is day 11. But it's it's practically the end of the day. It is basically the end of the day because it's night time. I didn't vlog anything today. Nothing happened. Nothing. I sat down and watched TV all day. Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles, The Walking Dead, Bones, The Following, Castle were all the shows I watched. And then I watched YouTube in between that. Nothing. No entertainment value whatsoever. So I'm combining the days again because it's just not worth it to vlog anything. Um, how's your day been going? Very nice. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Better day than I had. Better day than I had. So right now, I think in Florida or tomorrow, there's going to be Playlist Live is going on, which is a big YouTube convention. I will probably never go to a YouTube convention. 
because I have no money. <laughs> one day, maybe. I'd like, I would like to go to VidCon. One day, maybe. I would rather go to VidCon than play this live. So yeah, nothing's happened today. I have no idea what to talk about. I just, I had to get something in within the day. Because right now, 10, 10, 10, 10. It's 10, 10. So I'm getting something, a video in today. So I've still vlogged every day. Um, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I have no idea. My mind is blank. I kind of just want to play a video game right now. I do. <laughs> I don't know. Let me think. Those are like movie news. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Because there's a movie news. Something did something go down. Something happened. I can't remember. Hmm. Nope. Can't think of anything. Heard Falling Skies, show on TNT with aliens in it starts June 9th. So that's a ways away. Next, this coming Monday is the start of Revolution. I'm thinking about getting a comic book that's coming out next week. I don't know. That's why I didn't vlog today. <laughs> but I got a good video today. I got to say something. Gotta get something. I wanted to talk about real quick if I still have time. It should I just should still have time. Uh, another film that Michelle Williams was in that was in Oz, The Great and Powerful, that I talked about like five minutes ago for you. Uh, a film that was, was like last year. It was a big hit, uh, Oscar worthy. Well, I didn't win an Oscar, but I won a Golden Globe. She won a Golden Globe for it. It was My Week with Marilyn, and she plays Marilyn Monroe. Um, it was she. She was really good in it. She she acted and sounded like Marilyn Monroe, um, but not like the stereotypical Marilyn Monroe that we all see in film. It was the behind the scenes Marilyn Marilyn Monroe that no one really sees or no one really notices. And it was the film set in a time when she's making the film in London. What was it called? The uh, Prince and the Showgirl, something like that. I don't quote me on that, but I think it's something showgirl. Something in the showgirl, I know that. Uh, but it was a good film. Emma Watson's in it from Harry Potter. And she was barely in it, though, but it was she still had a good part in it. So it was a good movie, so you can check that out if you want. If you want to know anything about Marilyn Monroe, it was pretty good. It was a, it was a weird, different love story. And it shows Marilyn's life that we don't really know of. So, I guess that's it for today. I hope you had a, a swell two days. Uh, Bye-bye. Oh, don't do that. I'm not. I was just about to do in sync. Don't, don't embarrass yourself, Josh. Josh, I can't speak because I don't know. There was gibberish. Bye.